Hi, welcome to another video. So before I do a comparison between this D7100 and this D3200, I was checking the firmware on this. This is I bought this second hand just a couple of days ago. It's got a shutter count of 2000, so it is quite new. You can see it looks new. In case you've got one of these cameras, go to your menu, the spanner, down to firmware version, click OK. And you'll see there, this camera, although it's quite new, the firmware is at 1.01. .01. Nikon have since updated that to 102, and then subsequently updated the 102 to 103. So there are various issues that have been resolved with later firmware. So if you've got a D7100, go and check your firmware. Go to Nikon's page, then the download center. So there's a brief summary in front of you, the changes from 102 to 103. Not sure when that update came out. And then down beneath that, the many fixes from 101 to 102. So it all looks pretty important, so if you've got the Nikon D7100, check the firmware and get onto Nick on the site. So all you do, scroll down, I updated a previous camera I had, scroll down, you accept, download. So the easiest way to do it is get an SD card holder, put your memory card into the card holder, put that into your PC, this is actually an old Fuji film one I had. So put this into your PC, save the file to here. Right, so I've saved the file on that memory card. I, I clicked on the update, and there's the application. If I open the update, the bin file, which is the firmware, is in the update folder. You need to copy that. and paste it into the root directory of the file so the bin file is not in any one of these other folders so there's the bin file I'll now remove that from the PC so I'll put this I'll put this card with that new bin file back in the memory slot go to menu firmware version and it's found the update so scroll down to update press OK so remembering we are on 1.01 .01. go OK well that's it it's found the new version there so you update from 101 to 103 scroll up to yes OK now this is updating the firmware the actual program that runs your whole camera so make sure you've got a charge battery and you don't turn it off maybe you haven't been affected by any of the glitches but certainly worth updating get the optimum performance from your camera I'm shocked this needs an update because it's meant to be a new camera So that looks like it's nearly finished. There we are. Turn off camera. I assume I can now turn it back on. And it should boot up with that new firmware. So menu, firmware version, 103. And because my card's still all got the bin file, it's obviously giving you the option to update again, but so I need to format this memory card. So if you've got an older camera or older software, check your firmware version. Thank you for watching.